but it remains very high. And there are a number of serious issues that remain. We have not solved all the problems that we faced in 1992, and we're also facing new challenges that we didn't foresee then. Too many of the planet's citizens are undernourished and undereducated. Too many women and young people have no voice in their society. And in too many places and in too many ways, we are withdrawing our natural wealth at an unsustainable rate. Now, 20 years after the first meeting in Rio, we have an opportunity to change how we, um, all of us now, over 7 billion, interact with the world and with each other. The principles behind that first Rio conference still resonate. We should be able to live now and develop our economies and our societies without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. Science has taught us a lot over the last 20 years about the way the world works and how we impact it purposefully or accidentally. And we've learned a lot about what works and what doesn't as we've tried to address the challenges before us. This, uh, this transformation has become clear in the work that I do as chair of the White House Council on Environmental Quality. When we were founded 40 years ago, our main task was to identify when governmental actions raise environmental concerns. Today, where the president continues to stress that clean energy and a sound environment are a central part of our economic recovery, we can work across government to promote sustainability and leverage a new range of capabilities. And so we're going into Rio this time with a clearer understanding than ever of how all our sectors are interrelated and interdependent. Rio Plus 20 focuses on green economy in the context of sustainable development and poverty eradication. And this is an acknowledgement that we can't try to address each challenge disparately and expect to create lasting solutions. And so we're working at the intersection of environment and economy, of health and education, of equity and transparency to find solutions that cross disciplines just like this group does here. <laughs> The United States sees Rio Plus 20 as an opportunity to re-energize global sustainable development efforts with an emphasis on strengthening links among the economic, environmental, and social pillars of sustainable development. We believe that sustainable development is, more, is about more than protecting the environment. Of course, it's essential that we protect our natural resources, including our waters, our forests, our oceans and coasts. We must properly value these fundamental services that these resources provide and build those values into our decisions so we can keep the foundations of our economies and our societies strong. So with 50% of the world's population now living in urban areas, sustainable development today is also about providing a built environment that ensures access to energy and clean water and to education and health services. It's about giving workers the skills they need to compete to fuel economic growth in green industries. It's about ensuring that people all over the world, no matter where they live, have enough safe, healthy food to live healthy, productive lives. And it's about producing food in such a way that provides for the health of the land and the water we all depend on. It's also about linking people more effectively with their governments and decision makers and building bridges between governments and civil society groups, small businesses and large industries, and women and youth and all the other actors. We believe that sustainable development is not just about national governments and international organizations, but includes work by government at all levels and groups across sectors. We know the active and great engagement of the private sector, youth and women and scientists and academics is fundamental to a sustainable future. This is reflected in the work being done in the run-up to Rio, in the report of the Secretary General's high-level panel on global sustainability, in the hundreds of submissions sent to the UN from governments, civil society organizations, and businesses as their contributions to this discussion, and most immediately right here at this conference. At this conference, we'll focus on several areas of state sustainable development, including health, the environment, agriculture, and sustainable economic growth, with the goal of advancing practical and achievable solutions. In many cases, these challenges aren't new, and they continue um, they continue to be very uh, challenging, as many of you know firsthand. But now we have tools at our disposals that most of us didn't even imagine 20 years ago. Cell phones connect us like never before, particularly in the developing world. 
The internet has put a vast amount of information literally at our fingertips, and social media gives us access to incredible networks of people and information. The world is a different place than it was in 1992. And the challenge for, for all of us here today, with our various backgrounds and experience and knowledge, is to determine how these technologies can help us address some of the most persistent problems we face across the sustainable development spectrum. This is an opportunity for us not only to offer new ideas and solutions, but to re reframe the substance and the form of the con conversation. 20 years ago at, at Rio, we may have realized that sustainable development requires engaging a wide spectrum of stakeholders, but we didn't have the same means to do so as we do now. So over the next couple of days, we're going to set the stage for a new way of approaching our global challenges and engage in a new type of international meeting. And not only have we brought together the diverse and dynamic group in this room, but we're streaming this meeting live for the whole world to see, and I'm sure they're all watching. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll do things at this meeting that some of you might not have experienced before, things like the speed eating demonstrations we'll see later this afternoon. It'll provide us a window into the range of innovative technologies that are being applied to development challenges. The goal is to use our diverse knowledge to develop ideas for harnessing the power of technology to advance solutions for our most pressing sustainable development challenges and continue to work on them as we prepare for Rio. And then in Rio, we want to present these ideas to the world, uh, to, the, to the thousands of people who probably didn't tune in today, but the thousands of people who will be with us there, as well as those who will be uh, participating virtually. The challenges of sustainable development affect us all, male and female, young and old, rich and poor, tech savvy, and tech averse. And now we have the ability to truly work together to develop solutions, and we intend to take full advantage of that opportunity. So thank you all uh, for coming and being a part of this effort. effort. And we, we certainly look forward to working with all of you uh, towards a healthy, prosperous, and sustainable future for the United States and for the world. Thank you very much.